good everyone welcome back to the channel my name is henry and i'll be your tour guide on our lumion series okay before we go further please do us a favor by hitting the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified when we release a new video after you have done that let's move okay in the last video we actually talked about applying materials in lumion but today's video we're going to go further into understanding composition first of all what is composition composition is the environmental setting in a render okay so we are going to start by showing you the step-by-step -step stages of how to give a render a good composition so for this video we are just going to be using this view as our sample so i'm going to start modifying this view okay oh, i don't know what maybe i just created this landscape i'm just going to reset it if you have not watched our landscape video the link will be in the description below so we're just going to flatten it okay and reset it back to the base so we're just going to start with this our view so it's always important to be looking at the view while you're creating the composition okay so we're going to look at this view we're going to fill up this zone and we're also going to fill up this zone in the composition to make the render look realistic and in context okay we're going to start immediately sorry i was mistakenly clicking on this up we're just going to flatten it okay let's click on flatten then we're going to go to place the first thing i'm going to be placing in the composition is surrounding buildings for this video i want to create a residential context so i'm going to be putting some residential lumion residential uh, models just at the background i'm not going to put them too close for them not to drag attention with the model okay let me just make them different let me delete this one and just place another one okay i'm just going to select them and just lighten their colors i like bright colors i love bright colors uh, i'm a good guy no, good guys they love bright colors that is bad. okay so now we have set the place the building so i'm just going to go back to the and, uh, and look at the buildings okay this one is looking kind of weird so i'm just going to rotate it i'm just going to click on this my rotate tool and just rotate the building okay so the next thing we're going to do is going to be placing some external lighting fixtures okay so under that i'm going to go to my imported models because i've already imported some lighting fixtures i prefer to use so i'm just going to first load in um, some street lights okay the street lights won't be visible in that context so no need so we're just going to load in some bollard lights i'm going to load in some bollard lights some bollard lights here and there here and there here and there and here and there okay then we're just going to place some here okay that is good we're going to place our car a vehicle under this um under this drop off just to show more context okay then we're going to rotate it and place then we're not going to place some green areas okay so in placing green areas the first thing you should consider let's just go back and look at how the image is looking okay the first thing to consider in placing green areas i used to start by levels i used to start by layers the first thing i'm going to do is to place some coniferous plants or some coniferous trees on the peripherals of the walls so i'm just going to select the bright colored because so most of these coniferous trees are actually dark and i don't usually like the dark theme in rendering so i'm just going to set some bright ones along this place position and just place them place them i'm still going to reduce their size because their size is overwhelming okay i'm just going to reduce their size reduce their size reduce their size reduce the size of this one especially reduce it and we're going to go back to the image and look at what we've done okay our context is um, coming up so we're also going to come and we're going to play some maybe some other features like some auxiliary features of a building like let's just use an overhead tank just to give it more realism we have a overhead tank family and we're going to place it and we're going to just look at the view okay i'll just be saving this project okay that's it and done after placing the overhead tank we're going to go back and look at the image again we're going to look at what we've done okay it's getting better but there's still some tough things to do okay so we're going to go back again and go to our um, nature library and we're going to select some broad leaf trees for these broad leaf trees i usually prefer 
there's a particular tree I usually prefer. Like I love this tree. I think it's under page 10 if you are using the normal size um, icons. If you place the icons at normal sizes. So I'm just going to place this uh, type of trees at interesting points. Like I noticed this bark was a bit empty. So I'm going to place it at this interesting point. Okay. Well, making sense. Then now I'm now going to go to the green area. Inside green area. So I'm just going to go to this short plant and I'm going to go to I think pages to just place these um, ball brushes. I usually like them, they are usually simple and it's easy to use them to achieve a pretty realistic view. So I'm just going to place them as strategic positions. Okay, we don't need to even place here because I've used not composite here. We'll now go to the flowers and place this flower. Let's place some flowers here. I plan to put fountain at this center, but let's just watch and let's play some bright colored. Okay, let's just use this flower. It's looking kind of realistic. I don't usually like putting very colorful, like very bright, bright, bright colored flowers. It's like too, I see it like I don't think it's that realistic to be putting uh, flowers, very, very colorful flowers in a residential context, like in many positions. So. Just one of my personal preferences. So I'm just going to load in a fountain and place a fountain. I have a default fountain I modeled in Revit. So I'll be using that for this video and I'll just place it. I'm just going to edit the size and reduce the size. And I'm also going to place some effects under this tab here and place some effects on fountain effects. Okay, I think we're making progress. Then I'm going to reduce the size of the fountain effect just to fit in. Good. We'll go back to our view and look at how far we're going. So I think so far we're building the view. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place some entourage. There are some human, some humans, some people walking around just to to show that okay, in this render is actually human beings. This is actually trying to depict um, real life properly. So we're going to be placing some humans here and there. Let's just place this woman walking with her dog. Always be careful of this aspect. Don't allow other elements obstruct the target of your render for instance i can't place a human being too close to where the camera i think the camera is along this zone so i'm just going to place them a bit far i'm going to let me just put a man in suit trying to enter his um, beautiful range rover okay shouldn't have mentioned that name maybe but move on Okay, so I'm just going to place okay. I think that's enough for the video. So we'll go back to the view and look at so the last part of composition I want to talk about is placing things in the render to just catch the eye. Interesting things in the render that will just catch the eye in like, like when someone views a, a rendered image, there are some elements that the person apart from the maybe the main building itself that the person will just look at and notice oh this stuff are interesting. This stuff is interesting. Those are what I want to place. Those things, they can be natural features, they can be little um, supporting components. So I'm just going to look for some. Okay, for this video, I'm just going to look for one interesting one I usually use, especially on lawns. I used to put sometimes, I'll just put a garden, a garden kettle along here. Then I'm going to go to nature and I'm going to put some forest wood. Not really big forest wood, but I'm just going to place some chips around here, chips here and there, just some chips here and I'm going to go and place, uh, let's look for some twigs and place around, okay that twig won't be visible. My aim for this render is any component or any uh, entourage and place or anything I'm placing should be visible on the 3D view and should have a purpose. So I'm just going to place all these small elements just to catch the eye of people. Then I'm going to place maybe some rocks because in nature I always like depicting the imperfection of nature. So I'm just going to place some rocks here and there just to depict and arrange it somewhere here and then just place some shrubs in between just to depict that imperfection. And I'm going to play with some shrubs around around this place here and here. Okay, and we're going to look at what we've created. Okay. And there you have it guys, we have actually set a, let me just give this one above average composition of a rendered view. 
okay so thanks for watching hit the like button if you liked our content also subscribe to our channel for more content like this hit the notification bell to get notified when we release a new video then also have a nice day and thank you for watching